The purpose of this video and this model itself is to take your SAS bookings data and extrapolate that out into the imperative metrics we need to see on a monthly basis that really tell us how that business is performing. So it, it's creating transparency in such a way that what we're going to look at at the end of the day is what was our new monthly recurring revenue, how much expansion recurring revenue, and what did our churn look like. From these three metrics, we can build out a robust dashboard. I'll save that for the next video. In this video, I'll just show how do we get from raw bookings data to this KPI dashboard. What this model's done, it's, it's done just about everything for you. So stripping away all the other contexts that might come with uh, your dump out of total contracts and taking just what we need. In this instance, I need a client name, start and end date, and total contract value. Just those four columns, you copy and paste it in. And then we get to the model. So everything from here on out is a formula, all being built off of dropping in the initial bookings data. So the way that works is data feeds in from the first tab, comes across. We're be sure to note this is total contract value coming across. And we're making a calculation to normalize that total contract value. So in this case, most everything we're looking at is a one month contract. But if for some reason a multi-month or multi-year contract comes in, we don't want to confuse that as a monthly contract. So as an example, zooming in here a little bit, showing customer one has an annual contract here, whereas everything else is monthly. So what our calculation does is tell us what that is on a monthly basis. So that's the normalized amount. And then what we do is we run that through a waterfall. So starting March 2016, ending February 2017, we can then come and look at customer one across those dates and see during that time frame, the formula is going to pull this and show us exactly uh, the duration of that contract and what they're paying on a monthly basis. Here's the second contract associated with this client. You'll notice it's on a separate line, so we're showing each individual contract exactly as it is within the bookings. So this fall, flows out through the waterfall. We come across to the segmentation, and there is a lot of columns here, but what's really happening at the end of the day is two things. I'm consolidating each customer into just one line item. All right, so we can see how that customer performed. So in this instance, looking at customer one again, we had two contracts on the previous tab. We can now come across and it's feeding through. Here's our $9 a month for one year. And then on the other side, here's our $41 from that second contract. So we've consolidated all of that into one line. So that's the first step that's taking place. The second step is to say, how do we segment out what was new business, new clients, what was our expansion clients, and how many clients did we lose? What was the attrition or churn? And so zooming out here just to show, so here's our total bookings. And as I come across over here in green is a formula built that is reading off of our total bookings to say, identify when one's new when we've got a, a net new client. So that's what this is doing. Comes across all those dates. We come over here. In the yellow, we're looking at expansion. So one of the easiest ways to think of expansion is to say we sold the client additional seats from one month to the next. And so we want to capture that additional revenue. So that would be the expansion in this example. And then over here, for this in red is our churn or attrition metrics. So there's three things that we need, except we need these in a dollar value. We also need them in a count. And so that's what I've done up here. I've summed the dollar value and I've summed the count. So and everything in here is 
a formula. There is absolutely nothing that needs to be done or hard coded in here except making sure your dates line up. I can then take that over to the reporting dashboard. And as you'll see, again, everything here is a formula flowing in. We can get into what this is in the next video. But for the time being, let's take a look at where this puts us from a revenue metrics perspective and customer metrics. So those being the six, the three metrics, one value, one count. So we show new MR, expansion churn allows us to understand what is our net new monthly recurring revenue. From there, we can say, here's our beginning monthly, here's our ending MRR. So where does that put us on an annualized run rate? also known as ARR, not to be confused with annual recurring revenue. We do that exact same sort of formulation, new customers acquired, how many expanded, how many did we lose? So what is our number of net new customers and where does that put us in total customer count?